Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, welcome to Tuesday Night Bible Study. Uh, but we can't do it live with everybody today because we're actually going to go catch a plane. So we're going to teach it together. What do you think, Heidi? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we didn't want you to miss another Tuesday night. And next Tuesday night, we will actually be live in a studio. So we'll be uh, able to do it. Okay. Right. We'll uh, be back here in Indiana. Yeah, we'll be back in Indiana Tuesday. next Tuesday night. We'll be doing it here live on Zoom and everything else. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I put a shout out real fast, though, Heidi, before you get started? Because I know you get preachy. <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, www.nightsolarlight.com, Heidi, www.nightsolarlight.com. Introducing the first ever ultra bright floodlight. You can put it anywhere you want, even if there isn't any electricity. And that's what's so awesome about it. This brand new ultra bright wireless floodlight with motion detectors from Boundary makes it easy to light up all the dark spots in your yard. You can install it anywhere because it's wireless and you never need to worry about buying batteries because it's solar powered with a high power battery storage pack. So think about it, Heidi, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about installation, you don't have to worry about running wires. Yeah, especially nowadays when you have to consider going off the grid, that would be perfect. Perfect. So at least you have some outdoor lighting that because the, it gets charged every day and it bright, brightens things up every night. So. Check it out, guys, at www.mysolarlight.com. All right, sweetheart. So uh, what, are we gonna, what are we gonna do here as far as All right, so, scriptures? So we talked about going into Psalms 103. Oh, I love that. I love that chapter. I love that chapter. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'll start. Okay. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all thine, his benefits who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. What a great start. So this is David, okay, writing this psalm, right? Right. And so what is he doing? Is he praising the Lord for these benefits? It sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. uh, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. So David is expressing great gratitude mm -hmm. for the mercy and the grace and the and the benefits that we receive from the word of the Lord, from God himself. Amen. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities and who healeth all thy diseases. It sounds a lot like Isaiah. It really does. Um, you know, Isaiah 53 talks about by his stripes, we are healed. Um, no weapon formed against us can prosper, but every tongue that rises against us, we shall condemn in judgment for this is the heritage of the Lord. That's of course, Isaiah 54, 17, but in, but you know, healed, of all thy diseases, that's actually Heidi. In you know, we've been talking about the feast. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start going, when you start talking about the feast of Passover, mm -hmm. the feast of unleavened bread, the feast of the first fruits, and the feast of Pentecost. Throughout those first four feasts, healing is is brought up every time. Mm -hmm. Heal you, heal us. Uh, you know, from all sicknesses. Uh, no plague shall come nigh our dwelling. We know about that in Psalms 91. You know, that's what David's trying to say is all through the word of God, we have benefits of grace and mercy, but he starts right out with healing. Mm -hmm. You think healing is because we're always a dying. I mean, as humans, we are born and we live and we die. So in this process, there's. Well, every day you go to war <clears throat> to stay healthy. Your immune system is, is your war um weapon and uh so every day we go to we go to war to continue to keep all our cells in our body healthy so that would make sense against all viruses bacteria and diseases and plagues mm -hmm. our body has to fight a war every day mm -hmm. yeah and so david is acknowledging uh, that it's the lord that fights these battles for us right and the reference here in your bible takes us back to exodus 15 26 that's uh, right after that's in the song of Moses, actually, it's mm -hmm. part of the song of Moses. And he's and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, thy God, and will do that, which is right in his sight, and will give here ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I brought thee upon, which I 
have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. So notice here, he brought these plagues upon the Egyptians, mm -hmm. but he'll protect his children from these plagues. Yes. So if you do all those things that above. you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So, so are you saying David here kicks this right out of the blocks mm -hmm. and says, Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Yes. But he knows there's a condition yes. with these promises. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, you should be uh, trying your best to follow the word of God in your life. So you're saying and there all is. these other things just fall in place. So there is grace. Mm -hmm. And there is you know, mercy and grace. Because without it, we can't be saved. Mm -hmm. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God and unrighteous. Right. Not, not one. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to strive to mm -hmm. follow his word. Mm -hmm. He will forgive us if we don't, mm -hmm. but it still could cost us, mm -hmm. even with the forgiveness. There's, there's, there can be some. Well, obviously, if you abuse your body, you're going to open the door to diseases. So there you go. You know, in one place he tells in Revelation, he says, you know, repent quickly mm -hmm. or else I will come and remove my candlestick from its place. Mm -hmm. So God doesn't want us to walk in iniquity. And the difference between sin and iniquity, sin is when you commit sin and then repent and say, I'm not doing that. Iniquity is when you walk in the sin daily, every day, you don't, you just don't change. That iniquity will bring upon your body, upon your soul, upon your life consequences, no doubt. Right. And the very next scripture has your tender mercies, all right? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction and who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Praise God. There's your mercy. There's the mercy. Mm -hmm. And David David understood mercy. Okay, let's face it. He, mm -hmm. You know, after the issue with uh, uh, Bathsheba and, uh, and putting the man out on the front line to get him killed mm -hmm. and all of that, uh, God still said, you're a man after God's own heart. He said, I'm going to forgive you of all this mm -hmm. and show you tender mercies. Right. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hmm. Now I like this mm -hmm. because I love I love the idea of renewing your youth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I've been going through all these treatments right. to help reverse reverse some reverse some things and, and, and reverse and, the curse yeah reverse the curse thank <laughs> you and to renew my youth in some areas you know or all areas if I could you know mm -hmm. but yeah and I'm glad that the Lord is the one that does it amen amen the Lord execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed Ooh. he made known his ways unto Moses his acts unto the children of Israel the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Wow. <clears throat> he will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. And that's what you were just talking about. Yeah. Now, and the key word is not always. Mm -hmm. Does it say that? He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Okay. So he is, if we would have got what we had coming to us, we're all wiped out. Okay. But he didn't give us the reward for our iniquities. Okay. Or for our sins. We, he, he didn't deal with us with our sins, nor reward us for the iniquities, but, but instead he gave us tender mercy and forgiveness and loving kindness and, loving kindness and a chance to get things right. You know? And here's mercy again. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. What do you think that means by them that fear him? Reverence. I have a healthy reverence towards God. And to have a healthy reverence toward God, you got to believe there is a God. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good place to start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because if you don't believe, mm -hmm. why reverence? Why pay respect? To something that isn't real that isn't there and but when they talk when you start talking about the god you say you know what i respect god god created all things he's fair he's just he's been merciful he's been tenderly merciful to me and i know he's the king of kings amen and i i i fear the lord but i respect the lord you know and it's it's a it's a it's a reverence it's an understanding 
Uh, and, and so we have to get into that mindset and understand the importance, I think, our life in following Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. As far as the East is from the West, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like a father that pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. So you're saying as far as the East is from, how far is the East from the West? I'm <laughs> trying to, let's see, East, West, it's a long ways apart. I can give you a. <laughs> give me something. Give you a scientific thing on that. All right. So supposedly some scientists uh, believe that we are actually on a timeline and that's how people uh, like me don't follow the clock <laughs> <laughs> because my, my timeline's a little further down the timeline than you. So as far as the East is from the West, just, just con consider that. And that's how your transgressions can be removed from you because you're on this timeline. Well, that all happened here. But you're here on this timeline. Okay. You got me? You following I, me? So, so on this timeline of life. Yes. This, so if we drew a straight line here, mm -hmm. I was committing sins here. Mm -hmm. But I, then I found grace in the eyes of the Lord here. And Jesus. And the Je blood of Jesus through the Christ. blood of Jesus Christ. And so I wind up over here. Mm -hmm. My sins are so far to the east than... My future is to the West, right, right? Right. And never to be, does it say that? Never to be remembered? Not here. Okay, that's a different scripture. It says, mm -hmm. that. It says the same thing, but mm -hmm. but never to be remembered again. Mm -hmm. So this is huge, Heidi. Uh, yes. And a lot of people deal with guilt. We get a lot of questions of people who are dealing with guilt from past sins. Sometimes those things follow you. Say you did something illegal and you uh, have to, you know, pay a, a legal price, whether that be a fine or jail time even. So sometimes those things do follow you in the natural just because that's what you've done. Or, you know, say you've been a heavy drug user, you probably will have some physical things following you from the abuse of your body. Um, but it's all up to God's mercy and grace uh, about the healing. So again, God is, will forgive our sin and cleanse us of all and uh, unrighteousness and, and iniquity that's all gone that's gone mm -hmm. that's gone so let's not walk in that condemnation for there is now therefore no condemnation mm -hmm. to them that are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit right. so that means you've had a change right but uh his uh, one scripture says there's his eyes are over the righteous and his ears are attended unto their cries but his face is turned against them that do evil. Mm -hmm. So along this timeline, God wants us to continue in righteousness, righteousness. and in the fear of God is what he says. Right. Mm -hmm. Although his mercy and his tender mercies and, and is everlasting and his, you know, his truth right. endureth. But just like Paul said, generations. should I continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. How can we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Mm -hmm. So what God is saying is, I will give you mercy and grace and put this behind you as far down that timeline table. Mm -hmm. Never, to, You're not going to travel that path again. Mm -hmm. It's been forgiven. But he also understands our frame that we are dust. He does. And he knows we're, car we're, we're carnal. We're mm -hmm. carnal. Again, Paul said, Flesh. that what I would do? I do not. Mm -hmm. That which I would not, that I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, wretched man that I am, who's going to deliver me from this body mm -hmm. of death? Mm -hmm. and that's real important mm -hmm. because even though your soul is saved, mm -hmm. your body is still a fleshly carnal body. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what I'm trying to say here? <laughs> You are not in a heavenly spiritual body. Mm -hmm. You're still in a physical body of flesh that is subject to the flesh. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're constantly at war mm -hmm. with the spirit and the flesh. It's still always fighting with each other over what you should be doing. Right. So, And as long as you have the word of God down in your heart, the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. Right. Mm -hmm. So, again... Work, work, uh, you know, walk in, the, walk in the light, not in the darkness. Stay, you know, stay on the right path. You hear these terms all the time. You know, don't fall, don't fall off the wagon. Don't, don't, you know, don't, uh, don't run off the reservation, Hillary. 
just stay on the path, right? And just keep going the right way. All right. So what, what else? I mean, it's, it's benefits. This is a benefit, benefit package, really, for Christians. Yes, these are all our benefits. Amen. Amen. Okay. Where are we at? For he knoweth our frame. Oh, I didn't even. I did oh, not there know you that. quoted that it there. before it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> popped in your head for he knoweth our frame he remembereth that we are dust as for man his days are grass as a flower of the field so he flourished it for the wind passeth over it and it is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more but the mercy of the lord is from ever everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children wow so i mean that's pretty powerful i mean mm -hmm. that's some really um lots of some deep love is really what i'm hearing you say mm -hmm. but he still understands that we're our, our frame right and the mercy is from everlasting to everlasting thank you jesus upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children thank you jesus so for our grandchildren and amen those that come thereafter amen to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them the lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of the Lord, or voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise God. I mean, what's a beautiful, I mean, whew, praise the Lord for this uh, wonderful promises here that the Lord gives us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he just wants us to trust him. Mm -hmm. And so on the 20th verse there, where it says, bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice. And then bless ye the Lord, all his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Do you think uh, David was just joining in? Because, you know, like in Revelations, it tells us that, the angels are constantly in praise so you think he just kind of joined in oh, with the angels he at just this wanted point? to go into that level of worship mm -hmm. where he where he began to worship just like the angels are worshiping the lord mm -hmm. yeah i mean you know what i never thought about it that way i think that's mm -hmm. i've i've been in services that where the anointing's been so high mm -hmm. that uh you almost can hear the wings of angels yes okay because mm -hmm. you've you went to another level of praise mm -hmm. And I think that's what David is saying. You know, who else could have worshipped like that but David? Mm -hmm. I mean, he was the praise and worship king. I mean, you know, the psalmist. Mm -hmm. And he understood what praise was. It sounds like it may he, he may have gotten to that level of worship. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yes. That's that's just really amazing. That is a great scripture. Mm -hmm. Is that Psalms 103.20? Yes, 103.20. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the chapter. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. 21, 22. And we just read it. Bless ye the Lord, all his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. That's right. You're right. You're right. Psalms, mm -hmm. okay. Now, well, what do you think about bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion? Is he talking about like the creation of, yes. of nature? I mean, the whole universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, where can you limit God mm -hmm. when he's limitless? Mm -hmm. You can walk out and look at the stars and just start saying, bless the Lord. I yeah. Mean, look at that. You look can walk. I, I bless the Lord all the time when I'm walking in the garden and looking at my flowers and looking at the bumblebees all over my flowers and all of these things, you know, when I'm, in a, an airplane flying over the Rocky Mountains. Mm -hmm. um, and I just say, wow, bless the Lord. Mm -hmm. He created everything there mm -hmm. with detail, mm -hmm. you know? And when I see a palm tree, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I feel the warm breeze, I'm like, wow. I mean, I see an ocean mm -hmm. and the, hear the ocean water. I'm like, wow, praise the Lord. He created all of this with a plan right all of these things are just amazing and he gave us dominion over all the animals and you know and all everything that's creeping upon the earth and and we're to dress the, the earth and we're to use it for our benefit but at the same time take care of it you know it's a, it's a very important thing we're to do 
God created all of this. And then when I, you, like you said, you look up in the stars in, at night and you're just like, wow, he created every one of those and they all have a purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. they're, amazing. They're, and they're praising the Lord. Yes, amazing. And the trees are clapping their hands. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. And the, if, the, if we don't praise the Lord, even the rocks will cry out. Wow. Everything is praising the Lord. So we ought to certainly praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Why have we allowed the devil to, to suppress our praise? Mm. To shame us mm -hmm. if we want to lift up his name. Mm. I mean, seriously, this is a, is, is this a, what is this? Mm -hmm. That we've been uh, a lie. Just pushed a lie. down and confined and silenced. Just a lie. I just want to throw this out, Heidi, because it just, it's bothering me today. But I want to thank Ryan Trogler. He sent me a text this morning. And, okay, I won't go into names, okay, but because I got to do this off the, on the, I'll do this tomorrow night on the Getting Ready Show. But there's there's a push to squelch Christianity yes, heavy. Yes, It's not just in America. It's going on real heavy now in Canada and other places. Mm -hmm. And so I'll talk about this more freely tomorrow night on the getting ready show with melvin mm -hmm. uh whittington but i'm seeing that for a long time satan has been trying to keep the people from praising the lord mm -hmm. and this book of psalms is filled with bless the lord and praise the lord and mm -hmm. you know i was glad when they said let us go into the house of the lord mm -hmm. you know i mean come on let's lift up our uh our, our voice like a trumpet let's Let's praise him on the high sounding cymbals. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Why is this constantly a part of it? And what is in that, what Lucifer is trying to squelch. Mm -hmm. He's trying to contain us, yes. hold us, make us think it's wrong even to do it. In some cases, mm -hmm. you know, and try to refrain us because he doesn't want to hear the children of men worshiping the creator of all things. Right. He can't deal with that. Right. And one of the other amazing uh, feats of God was bringing all these people together for our online church family. You guys are amazing. I mean, amazing. It's just amazing. People from all over the globe gathered together in one body. That's that's an amazement in itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sunday morning uh, at Community Gospel Baptist Church, we had uh, eight, eight people come from three different towns. Mm -hmm. uh, some drove as far as Indianapolis, which is two and a half hours into the cornfields of Indiana, which that's tough <laughs> to do. And I mean, people came, uh, you know, they wanted to meet us for the first time. And, but they also wanted to worship the Lord and they wanted to, you know, yes. gather together. Yes. Well, look at this online church, Heidi. It's amazing what God is doing mm -hmm. from all over the world. Yes. Every nation kindred and tongue mm -hmm. from every background racially economically socially politically whatever it doesn't matter all it doesn't matter where they come their cultures are different it doesn't matter there's one thing we're all unified together in is that we're the body of christ Amen. a body can't be divided you know you can't have you know we, we're all members of one body and is, isn't this amazing this amazing online church as you said it's mm -hmm. It's spectacular. And the prayers that come in from all over the world, mm -hmm. uh, so many of you uh, just love to give the Lord praise and your prayer requests have come in and we've been praying over these and we've been asking God to keep answering prayer mm -hmm. and the blankets have been going out and the prayer cloths and Bibles and all of that, Heidi. So right. it's, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Cece's upstairs right now, organizing the prayer blankets. Getting them, mm -hmm. getting them organized, make it easier to Mm -hmm. Find the one you need to send to the mm -hmm. right person. Yes. Isn't that cool? Yes. And mm -hmm. so um, we just praise God for that. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the biggest of, of this amazing online church? What, to, in your mind, you know that God had to do that. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> man, man can't do that. Mm -hmm. So God, God brings us all together like this. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think people that are part of this online church, I believe, have been specially chosen to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I don't think that, you know, some people are, are to be somewhere else and some do this, but you're, you were chosen to be a part of a worldwide 
move of God for the final day harvest. Amen. And you're good. Don't forget the benefits. Oh, by the way, don't forget the benefits. It is sort of like this. I remember going to work uh, at, at a factory and I'm like, okay, here's what we're going to pay you. And here's what we want you to do. And I'd say, but what are your benefits? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the benefits? Insurance, how much vacation a year? You know, what, what's, is there an incentive program that I can make more than uh, the baseline? I mean, what are you, can I be, is it possibility of, of uh, promotion? Uh, what are, is there, do you have sick time? What, what is the benefits? Right. And, and don't you love it that God has hired us to be, he said, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send forth more labors into the vineyard. Amen. So we've been hired into the vineyard of God, mm -hmm. all of us mm -hmm. chosen. So let me tell you about the benefit package. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eternal life, retirement out of this world. It's great. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, unlimited supply when you get in retirement. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, check's not going to be cut. Mm -hmm. All right, you can walk. I mean, it's it's going to be so amazing. You can walk on pure gold. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a mansion at your retirement. Mm -hmm. Sun's never even going to look. It won't even get dark. It's a constant, constant paradise in retirement. Oh, and by the way, before you ever get to retirement, what a great package he has here: healing for all sicknesses and diseases protection against all enemies that would try to come against you while you're working this job, mm -hmm. while you're, while you're in the field, mm -hmm. your families are protected, even when you're not around them. Mm -hmm. Big, huge guardian. The security alarm system is awesome. <laughs> Big angels and, you know, and the Holy spirit and all, uh, we got it all there. You know, we got it all Heidi. What a benefit package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a benefit package out of this world. Out of this world. <laughs> As you would say. All right. Well, we thank you all for joining us. We're sorry that we couldn't be together tonight, but uh, we wanted to get this out here for you guys while we're traveling. Pray for us for traveling mercies as well. And uh, this week, where are we going to be? We're going to be. Uh, we're going to be in Florida this. We'll week. be in Florida this week. So Wednesday night, I'll be with uh, Pastor Melvin Whittington at yes. uh, getting ready. Yes. Broadcast that's at ffctv.info. Mm -hmm. Thursday, Heidi, we're going to be. Uh, doing a show yes well, uh, mike from around the world again thursday night yes and i am currently working on the um analysis from may 27th so so i don't have any more treatments left mm -hmm. but but i do have um testing and some therapy yet to do right so i'm going to be doing that wednesday thursday and friday this week right okay that's 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 part of the program right um so i'll be doing that Mm -hmm. But I will be uh, Thursday night, like you said, Mike around the world. And would you say Friday? What? I didn't say anything oh. about Friday. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you're going to be uh, doing some serious uh, studying in uh, Hebrew. <laughs> yes, in Hebrew, but about the Mike from around the world analysis. You're, you're going to get that done. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that that was, you've been working already. Yes. Yeah, you got a good jump start on it. Mm -hmm. We'll put that on Patreon. That'll mm -hmm. be on Patreon uh, yeah. this week. Right. You think you'll get that before Mike comes on Thursday That's night? That's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. So look for that at Patreon. Also, I'm going to say this. For those of you who have the new Apocalypse Watch app, the second 2.0 of it, in other words, you're just going to get an automatic upgrade. Everybody who's already a, a, a subscriber, you're just going to get this upgrade. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this week, when I get back to Florida, starting tomorrow, I'm going to really be doing quite a few videos for the app. OK, mm -hmm. uh, because I have all my stuff for the app in Florida and I couldn't really do it here in Indiana. So I'm going to be doing that uh, all my uh, equipment that I need for that and and software I need. I have down there. Great. So look for the app Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Look for me producing apps. OK, mm -hmm. for, uh, videos for the app. Plus, Bart is already keeping all of the uh current events fl flying over there incredible i go over there now because i'm just blown away by stuff that he's putting up there so. and he's outside painting the studio he is painting the new studio mm -hmm. so the salvation station in renovation mm -hmm. he's painting right now there's equipment still coming in mm -hmm. new equipment for the uh for the it's going to have two sets instead of one mm -hmm. uh with a whole new control room and everything going on so this is all coming together and uh, we hope to have that finished sometime this summer, you know, get right. it all in, get it all done. Even Israel is going to come up here, spend a week and work with Brock, finalizing 
the uh, setting up and, and ready to broadcast. Right. So uh, all that's coming together. Lots to look forward to. It's going to be a busy year, Heidi, a real busy year. And thank you to all of you who have helped support that. Amen. So, all right. There was something else, Heidi. There was something there was. else. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was. <laughs> But at this moment, it, it eluded me. Oh, Sunday morning, we're going to be at Freedom Fellowship mm. in Lady Lake, Florida at the Villages. Yes. I'll be preaching this Sunday. All right. Yeah, a brand mm -hmm. new message. Mm -hmm. So you don't, if you're anywhere in the area, anywhere in the state of Florida or Georgia, wherever you fly in, if you want to, mm -hmm. uh, come join us at Freedom Fellowship at 1030 p.m., 1030 in the morning, Eastern time, 1030 Eastern. The tent is just about ready to go up. Yay. So we only got a few more Sundays left in the uh, current location we're in. Mm -hmm. And then the church is actually moving to the tent. Yes. And then from the tent, we're moving to the new uh, church facility that's going to be built, um, which is going to be state of the art and be amazing. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, this is incredible. Right. The journey we're on right now at Freedom Fellowship. Right. So I'll see you guys Sunday there. Right, Heidi? Yeah. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs>